Okay. Hi everybody and welcome to this video. I am Simon alias the Nerd of Algorithms and today is the 27th of August year 2016. Well, <clears throat> actually I was planning to do not just another video, not this one, but another video. But two other videos, much more important and coherent with the present context than this one, but uh, I just couldn't refrain uh, from doing this one because uh, it's a um, it's such a terrible topic that uh, I thought that uh, it was uh, appropriate to discuss it in on video, uh, even because this side, this dark side of a certain topic, which is anyway you know popular, and we'll see which is this topic. Uh, is not really much discussed and it has caused lots of problems to me in fact, do you know have you got any idea of what I was doing before uh, starting this video? yeah <coughs> I've been doing some housework of course but uh, that lasts but, but, but okay, that, that, that used to last like 10 minutes okay, but before just try to guess what I was doing I was degrading a piece of so very important software written in the C++ programming language from uh, a variant using multi-threading yeah, multi-threading to a variant which does not use it it's like a waste of time I was doing I was wasting time, literally, and uh, so this was this this video was born, which I want to state why uh, I left multi-threading as a software development strategy. For those who don't know, multi-threading is when one. Um, using a programming language which is not designed to do anything like that it's just designed to define a procedure which starts somewhere and, and somewhere and maybe then it's repeated again and with interactivity, with keyboard, mouse, graphics, whatever graphical output usage uses of a standard library, other libraries, whatever uh, ability to use system libraries to allow to the program being created in the programming language to open a window in the operating system that it is running under to start uh, this to do that to whatever Just limit ourselves to keyboard real-time keyboard interactivity and graphics that's what's usually most requested. But uh, here comes the question, what is multi-threading? Is that one can uh, have a library in most programming languages which allows uh, to say to the operating system uh, under which the program is running on uh, whether to run a certain procedure directly or to run it on another thread of execution, a different channel of execution to be then uh, to then synchronize different uh, so-called threads of execution, different channels of ex executions when needed, or to uh, whatever. Already very awkward to say stay so. Operating systems use this naturally; they have to support it because most computers, uh, this effect, have a multi-processor uh, installment, and that's good because uh, making one single super powerful processor is more inconvenient than using a multi-processor architecture 
where one can just sort, one can just, uh, so to speak, <clears throat> let different things be executed on different process source so that no one is really overwhelmed when there's something really heavy okay it will run on the freest processor which has the least load of all this is very good uh, it's uh, it's multi-core system multi-processor system has uh, it's, it's easier to create a multi-processor even if maybe it's into one microchip but a multi processor system that lasts longer uh, because it doesn't uh, reach too heavy uh, too high temperatures and so on everything is better but from the point of the operating system I'm not an operating system programmer uh, nothing for further from me even if I desire there had been a perfect operating system since I was young but there had not been but things more or less close uh, there have been around for some time that's okay an operating system to use this multi-threading because it has to benefit as well as possible from presence of four or six or eight processors so as to just sort out things so as to load n no one too much uh, so if it's some some program for example accidentally suddenly requires a high performance there is some free processor power to 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 give to it so far I have uh, told really nothing but that was obvious that was the introduction which was a must that was necessary multi-threading is simple uh, end user level creating a simple program it would be a flight simulator program a graphics program whatever using a library it's possible most uh, operating systems which support uh, the compilation of exec executables from for them uh, whose source code is written in the C++ programming languages also the C standard programming language these operating systems usually offer libraries for these programming languages uh, to allow <coughs> creating a program that at some point splits the, the procedure into two different threads of executions which may by the hosting operating system which is executing the whole thing may be split to be run one on one processor one on the other the decision is only of the operating system but this is a possibility even one two three four ten really many threads how it's distrib distributed across processors is something it's executed even if on, there is only one processor in that case it's all a disaster clearly but it, it, it gets ex executed and it's fine here we, I uh, I'm saying why I I left multi-threading as a why I left multi-threading um, as a strategy to make better software uh, end user software. There's not an operating system, not a module for it, but simple. It'd be a simulator, and I don't know, a simple video game or or whatever. It's because one well I really don't don't know how to start. Uh, many people are, are crazy about this. Wow, multi threading here. I've been on, on different uh, uh, job interviews where explicitly they ask me mm, do you know anything about multi threading? Maybe I know. I, I didn't tell the truth. I, I said yes I know it was true but I, I, I mentioned to say that I, I still had at the time doubts about it whether it's really so good in simple uh, programs or the beginning of the evil and the degradation 
of something that could be a perfectly written software based on a an algorithm that the author of the software understands perfect. I said yes, whatever. The truth is that uh, even much before attempting to use any of these libraries uh, to succeed, of course, immediately in the first steps, then to realize that that it was most most a superstition rather than an universal good. So much that the new C++11 uh, edition has in the standard library multi-threading, but has no standard graphics, no standard real-time interactivity with the keyboard, mouse, none of this, but has multi-threading. Well, I, I thought, I don't know, let's see it. Even much before trying to use a multi-threading library to succeed clearly immediately, uh, I had already thought to modify a certain algorithm to subdivide it into different chunks of execution so that when there is an emergency situation, the one can stop executing it and then resume from there. Already the idea I had had much before even knowing the word of what multi-threading is. But when I started using multi-threading, I started to like really make an ugly thing out of softwares that without them were perfect. And that's why I was saying I was doing is now a few minutes before here to so downgrade the software which was designed for multi-threading to a non-multi-threading software. Because I've come to the realization that multi-threading uh, in non-operating system contexts in a simple software is an evil most of the times. Uh, there is an algorithm which one who, who's most of the times, uh, yeah, it's a social problem also. Most of the times, there's someone who takes an algorithm of whose functioning he doesn't understand perfectly and starts to try to enhance its performance by turning it into a multi-threaded fashion and it's a disaster. On a one processor system it will run a disaster. Maybe not, but maybe yes. And the uh, source code of a program, the whole thing will become large, even worse structured. And so, a multi trying to uh, stick, in my opinion, to the standard of, oh, multi-threading, ha, oh, you don't know it, you, you are a dumbass, uh, you are not, I'm professional, you're, there's an algorithm of whose functioning I understood perfectly, I've worked in it for three years or something like that, even other algorithms thought of them, and uh, I was sure I understood them perfectly, and then someone comes and says, Ah, but you didn't uh, do a multi-threaded implementation. And I say, yes, I didn't, because it ruins whole coherency and perfection of that algorithm and its implementation, because these languages, such as C++ or a JavaScript or whatever of these uh, um, languages that, so, so to say, succeeded in avoiding to become obsolete, do not support well multi threading. Do not. That's a fact. It's outside of their uh, purpose. Because most, the, the whole algorithmics as a subject is not that of uh, giving the ability to make, to express most of the things that it treats as in a multi threaded patient. That's a misconception, that's a heavy scientific error, and that's why I stated I will never want to have to do anything with multi-threaded things, and uh, it has caused a lot of waste of time and damage to me, but I have done great steps in that direction, but most of them did no contribution. I started to hate the whole stuff, and that's it. In my honest opinion, 
Multi threading should be is by definition the uh, duty of the operating system and not a program uh, trying to abuse of multi-threading in normal programs I think personally is just an, an exploitation an abuse of the idea that wow there is an operating system that will do everything well you said a definition but you misunderstand it it's it's duty to do it not a problems and the other thing is you cannot pretend a person to uh, come there with a perfect understanding of an already complex algorithm and then to create a program which expresses it in a way which is so brutally uh, devastated because of the attempt to make it multi-threaded that is a disaster that, that, that that's that's not good that's an abuse that's evil that's why uh, I left multi-threading as an idea anyone in any next whatever job interview or opinion will ask me I say that I hate it operating system creators welcome to do it in fact the operating systems use very well when there are four six eight processors two one no problem but ask me but don't ask me to to do any multi-threading stuff in a damn software that I develop I think I can do it perfectly if there is even one procedure in it that I don't understand perfectly I won't even start to code anything and so let me along with multi-threading it's the n plus one myth dogma or whatever in exercise that is uh, computing algorithms whatever sorry if this was so sad but that's I had to say the other two videos that I was planning will come later <laughs> instead of what it is because it will be useful so but whatever this was just an opinion but I uh, just couldn't refrain myself from expressing it bye bye have a nice day